Hey guys, Clear Pairs here. Today, I'll be showing you a quick and completely free mod to do to your airbox to make it sound a little bit better and possibly gain a little bit of power. We'll be removing this restrictive little funnel that goes on the front of the airbox. This makes the diameter of the hole that the air goes in from uh, that circle to the size of that oval right there. This applies to 1999 Ford Rangers with the three liter V6 engine. It may work on other years and models or other cars in general, but this is what I'm doing it to, and this is what I know it'll work on. This modification will make your truck go from sounding like this, to this. easy procedure all you'll need is a flat blade screwdriver and maybe a flashlight to perform this that part that we'll be taking off is located right down here in front of the air box there's two parts down here the first is that a uh, funnel tube shape right there and the second is uh, all this uh, kind of rubbery part around here we'll take out as well the first thing to do is to take off your air box lid and the air filter and to do which you have to pull back these two little snaps here and then you'll be able to pull off your air box lid and take out the air filter. And now we have access to the air box itself down here. And in some of the videos people have about this online, they say to spray some WD-40 down here, which isn't quite necessary. All you need to do is just stick your screwdriver in here between the bottom of the air box and the mounting bracket and just pull up. There we go, we popped off those two uh, rubber grommets on the bottom. And there's two more on the side, right there and right there. And you just have to wiggle those on out. And when you're trying to uh, wiggle this out, it'd be helpful to push down on this little rubber piece right here. When you're pulling out, it makes this a whole lot easier because that little funnel part gets stuck in the rubber part. There we go, the air box is out. The next step is to uh, pry off this little funnel part right here can be accomplished pretty easily with this the regular old flat blade screwdriver there we go that just popped right off now you notice the size difference between the two holes on here i think this will get much better airflow than this and now back to the truck when we look in here we still have this little uh, rubber piece right here that needs to come off so all you need to do is just pull it off and there you go you've got this piece out along with that other piece, and they're ready to put the air box back in now. Reverse of the installation, putting the little side rubber mounts in first, and then pushing downward to seat the bottom ones in. And there we go, that's pretty sturdy, that's not going anywhere. Next, put the air filter back in, and put the air box lid back on, and clip it shut. And with that, we're done guys. For future videos, I think I'd like to make a video about how to clean your mass airflow sensor and maybe how to clean your throttle body because mine was pretty gummed up when I checked last. Also, I'd like to make a video about installing an aftermarket muffler in a performance exhaust system because mine's pretty quiet and I'd like to change that. So tell me what you guys think about that kind of stuff in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like if it helped you out and subscribe so you don't miss another video like it.